we'll start with y'all because we'll just keep y'all with Johnny. Really, is Zach and the O line. I mean, it makes our job easier when we get to hand the ball to them and big plays by the receivers. Q, Blair, Tay, D. Davis, JD. They're they're all making big plays, but it helps when you get on the O line like that. You kind of get started and kind of get into a rhythm. So I think that was the biggest thing. Max, obviously not the prettiest game for y'all, but just how important was it to get out of there with a win and, and what, how much can you build on this going forward? Yeah, obviously. You don't want it to be sloppy, but you want to win. And obviously that's what we got done against a great opponent like Cal. Obviously they're, you know, super respected around the country and in their conference and their defense is, you know, one of the best. They're coached well. So it just, it, it helps us a lot, obviously, going into a bye week that we have things that we can build on and go into SMU um, feeling confident. Max, for a couple times you had some guys open and just went a little too far with them. Uh, how do you correct that? And how, do you, how do you make sure you get those throws against SMU and Texas? Yeah, obviously I got to be better on, on the downfield throws because I missed a lot. Oh, and it really hurt us in, in times and it would have helped us if, if I hit them. So just just connection and just more more in practice of just getting a feel for them, seeing coverage, just seeing how they're playing them and just giving them a shot. I, you know, too much. I kind of throw it out of bounds or, you know, don't give a shot. I just got to kind of put it out there and let, let the playmakers make, make plays. Coach was saying the deep ball's been pretty good for y'all throughout fall camp. I mean, do you think it's just a matter of time before it translates into the game? Yeah, we'll hit them. Yeah, I, I don't suspect that we don't. Uh, during fall camp, we were, we were hitting them. And it's it's just connection and it's just time with each other. You'll, you'll hit them. Obviously, some games you might. And there'll be one game where we're, you know, hitting something that we probably shouldn't have. So, uh, just a matter of time. We've seen Zach. Um, if I remember, I hit Miss Q on one down the sideline going in, Miss D. Davis, Miss Tay. Mm, so that's three I know of, probably one more, but yeah, I'll, I'll hit him now. We've seen Zach have some big games last year, but today he really carried you guys rushing the ball. What, what were your thoughts on how he played today? Tremendous. Obviously, we see it every day in practice, and it, it was really encouraging, obviously, because we know what a talented kid he is and what a hard worker he is, and just what he can do with the ball and, and the O line and, and what they do. So I was really happy for him, and I'm glad that he's on our team. So. <laughs> How big was it to get Wes back today? Yeah, it's huge. Obviously, you know, Wes is a huge part of what we do offensively. And he creates a havoc up there. But everybody, you got Big O, John Lance, Steve, Wes, Coker, and then Brandon Coleman and Coleman Millen coming in. So those seven guys really just did a tremendous job. They're the hogs up there. Obviously, they don't get the praise that they should every time. But, you know, those guys are the big reason why, you know, we came out with a win. You mentioned Blair a little bit, but it looks like he's becoming a clutch receiver. Like, he's a go-to guy for you on third down. Is it, are you becoming more comfortable with him? Don't yeah, you? Blair, he's such a smart, smart athletic kid. He, he understands what I'm looking for. He understands coverages and how to play. He's kind of like that basketball basketball player out, out there, just kind of playing in space. And the good thing about Blair is that you know where he's going to be at, and he's going to be in the right spot at the right time. So you can always rely on him. Max, you mentioned Cal's D. How tough was it just reading their defense, on, especially on some runs? Looked like I think 43 was kind of spying you a lot of the day. Yeah, so some of those things that we thought coming in is what they did most of the time they did, and obviously just it was execution on our part of of not of not doing our jobs. And you know they threw a couple of little wrinkles in there every once in a while, and you know you gotta um, you know adjust to it. But uh, they did what we thought they were gonna do most of the game, which is the execution. We'll go two more questions. Uh, going back to Zach. Max, uh, Gary was saying he's kind of flown under the radar, so to speak. Are you surprised he doesn't have more buzz? Or, I mean, do you think this game, I guess, was his breakout party? Or yeah, I just, yeah, he's such a talented kid, like I said, and a lot of people probably don't give him the praise. Just like I, we just have a stable of running backs that, you know, can go in and, and do so much. But obviously after this game, there's going to be a lot of people that are watching him and watching our running backs. So, but I was happy for him. I'm glad he had a game like that. What are your priorities going into the bye week? We gotta get better, we gotta get healthy, we gotta get some guys back. Obviously there's a couple guys that we haven't had yet, but just get healthy, get back into it and stay prepared. Obviously SME two years ago, I was a bite and you know, we want that game back and we're looking forward to it. It's gonna be fun. So do we have a last question? Yeah. Two and what do you what do you at two and how do you feel about this team going forward? Yeah, it's there's a lot to like a like about us. Obviously, you know, we're moving the ball on offensively at, at times, you know, we got such a talented receiver group of running backs at the line. I got to make my job easier or do my job better of getting them the ball and put us in the right spot. And our defense is just, um, you know, they're stout. Coach B got them right. We got a lot of talented guys on that defense. So it's up to us of how far we want to go when we got to stay focused and keep working. All right.